Good morning and happy day. I hope that you guys are doing well. I am in my vehicle about to head to a local park to get some fitness in and I got my yoga mat with me and I'm going to record some asanas for us. Yeah, it's time to figure out ways to compensate for not being able to go to the gym. And I just want to know, how are you guys doing out there? What are you doing? What are some things that you got going on to help you, you know, deal with cabin fever? A lot of you have small children. Um, a lot of us are like me. You know, we just are used to this habitual thing that we do every day, getting out and moving the body. I've eaten some things that I shouldn't be eating and justifying it just, you know, in my feelings and stuff. And, you know, not making excuses, but just wanting to do something about it, you know, and tired of this, the over the incessant dialogue in the head about, Oh, I can't get this and I can't get that and I can't do this and I can't do that and I can't go there and I can't go there. There are so many things that we can do and I'm going to keep doing this thing. I know my space is small. I'm not in a fancy studio and that plays a big part because, you know, part of the experience of, of just that peace is the environment and just being out yesterday um, I spent a little time with my daughter and, you know, I was going to go to the park and uh, at least record asanas and have Mia do it. And there was just so many people out there just still not practicing social distancing. And, you know, you just start to see that there's still so many people that are not fully taking it serious. And I don't mean just drinking the Kool-Aid of the panic because I'm not drinking the Kool-Aid of the panic and unpack that and what that means for you. Um, drinking the Kool-Aid is probably a poor um, metaphor because it, it represents something so sad. But for those of you that don't know, when I say drink the Kool-Aid, it's just the whole, um, the cult, the Jim Jones cult of the people that drank the Kool-Aid with the cyanide. And that's awful. And I'm sorry. That's not to make light of that. But it's just to say that we can be so easily influenced by the media. And rightly so, yes, we absolutely need to be taking this thing serious. I mean, just taking care of each other means washing your hands, keeping a social distance and following the rules, even though they're changing a lot staying up on it. I don't sit and stare at the news all day. You don't have to like insert a syringe and just feed it into yourself all day long. You know, that becomes a habit, a really bad habit to do. Um, and, and it's tempting to do that right now because we're all so afraid. And I was going somewhere with all of that. My point, just with all, just putting all of that aside, the point for me making this video was just to let you guys know that I'm doing a giveaway. Um, I have a couple of yoga kits, starter kits that I want to share and give away. And plus I have a 500 piece puzzle for a parent out there with some kids that need some great activities and can't, don't want to get out. Um, I have one of those as well. Um, so I'm just asking you guys to share my link to my YouTube channel so that we can get some subscribers and so we can each together suggest some ideas, some things that you're doing um, and that can help other people, not for profit. I mean, I'm, a, I'm all for people being compensated for the services that they provide. That's not my goal here. So when I say subscribers, yeah, I want subscribers. I want more people to, to visit, to see if there's something on there that will spark um, an interest to begin, to, to begin um, something positive for them. Maybe it's yoga. Maybe it's meditation. Maybe it's a suggestion that somebody else has, like um, eating um, habits changes. Um, I can share some things about keto. Maybe some people can share some things about keto for me. Um, yeah, cause I got a, I, I had taco. I had so many carbs this week, y'all. 
And so I'm definitely not in ketosis. But today is the plan to kickstart it to get me back there. It's all good. It's easy fix. Um, and just like our flow today, the yoga that I record today is going to definitely be gentle. But we are going to do some sun salutations because they have become my favorite. They were never my favorite, but now they have become because that was what I wanted. I wanted to reach a point of loving that flow enough to actually crave it. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. And I actually look forward to that. So join me today. I'm going to just post a recorded video, not going to let go live because I want to be outside. And so um, YouTube Live, I will definitely continue to do that too. And then I know it's a little tight space that I do yoga in and I'm still learning the angles and stuff to get fully in the camera and my cues. I will get better with time. Um, but join me anyway. Let's do this thing together. Let's get through these days that are uncharted for us and unfamiliar and sometimes frustrating and scary and all of those things. Let's just sit with each other alone, but together, you know, and knowing that it doesn't matter how popular you are, how much money you have or what religion you subscribe to or what sexual orientation you identify with. This thing has all of us in the same boat. We finally are on the same playing field and you got to wait in line like the next person. And we're being forced to consider each other and to remember and be reminded forcibly, gently, but forcibly that we are in this thing together. And I say gently because it could be 10 times worse than what's happening. And I just want to encourage us to remember that we're in this thing together and just to be conscious always of the things that we do that we don't notice we do. Like I was like, oh my God, I'm biting my nails. Like of all the times to pick up an old habit that I got rid of, this is not the time for that. You know, I haven't had a drink in almost two years, you guys. I've been sober almost two years. <sighs> And I could sit in a day of meditation just in gratitude to that because this situation and these things going on, the one thing that has not happened is I have not given in to those old habits and I haven't even been tempted. And I'm so grateful and I'm not saying universe that I want to be tempted. My point is that there are so many good things still to, to look out at and be grateful for. Yeah, there's a lot of things we can't do right now. And this is feeling so surreal, but we are all experiencing it. I was in the store last night. I had to, I walked a little distance longer than I, sh farther than I should have at that time of the evening, not realizing that once I was heading back to the house that it would be so late. So that won't happen again. I just definitely need to be conscious of that. But I noticed First of all, so many people just not practicing social distancing. But there was a one woman that I just seemed to always run into this woman, no matter where I was in the store. And every time I hit the corner, she was complaining. And the consistent thing that she was saying over and over and over again is, I will never come here again. I will never come here again. And every time I encountered her, I was trying so hard to just go inward and conscious of my inner dialogue about what she was saying, because I found myself just, just like responding to her, like being a total asshole in so many ways. Cause I was just like, why won't you just put your basket to the side and get the hell out then? You know, you don't have to come back. And it's because I'm sensitive to service workers because I've always been that service worker. And just because I work in a corporate head a situation now, it does my heart goes out to any service worker out there working right now. It's like a first responder. 
They are first responders. And this woman was just attacking anybody that had a badge. She was just attacking them. And their spirits and their attitudes were just so amazing. Amazing. This woman, I was like breathing for her. And then I realized that I'm inserting myself still into that story. It has nothing to do with me. Mind your business. Send good energy that way, Lisa, but keep it moving. And so I learned a lot about myself and how I, I learned a lot about myself. I don't even know where I was going with the rant, but anyway, join me today to do some yoga asanas. I will send the link on my page today so that we can do yoga together so that when I, when I post it, maybe I'll go live this evening. Yeah. You know what? I'll go live tonight and then maybe you guys can, um, from that live taping, we can do some comments and I'll explain to you guys how I'm doing the raffle, okay? Um, but I am raffling off two yoga kits and a 500-piece puzzle, okay? And I will have details for you this evening. But join me today. Look for the link. I'm going to head to the park now to a situation where we get some beautiful um, scenic nature in the background where there's not a lot of people. And it's Sunday morning, so I want to have reverence for our mother, the neighbors, for Mother Nature, for the practice. And maybe I can convince you or encourage you to join me in a practice that will become habit for you, hopefully. I hope so, because it's just so great um, to practice yoga. You have to do it to get what I'm saying. And it doesn't always feel great when you're doing it, but it's the after effects. It's the after effects. Like when you get a massage, it feels good right then. And then you get the effects of it later. That's sometimes for yoga, it's like that. And then there are other days where it's not, you don't experience that first yumminess, but you get it later and just keep doing it and you will get it. And I have some great friends that hopefully through my YouTube channel, I'll get a chance to interview so that you can see how when you continue to make yoga a, a, a regular practice for yourself, you just, you grow with the practice. And it's different for everybody. Some people, it's a spiritual experience. For some people, it's, it's always physical and that's okay. There are there are so many paths to get you to the same experience. So yoga is for everybody and for everybody. And um, join me for yoga, okay? I said a lot of stuff, you guys, and it's because I always have so much to say. There's always so much going on in there, and that's why I practice yoga so much, too, because it quiets it. It gives me my quiet. And if you are like me in any kind of way, then you'll join me. I love you guys so much. Thank you for always putting up with me and let me rant and share and be a part of your circle. Have a great day. Happy Sunday.